long hip. Okay? So I'm going to do this high kick slip. I'm going to go to a switch. Okay? I like to take this arm away. I bring it in like this. My elbow comes in first. It's real quick. Come here like that. That loosens the grip on it. Okay? Instead of just trying to go here. So I just kind of bring the elbow in real quick. Okay? Here. Now I pivot this knee. I'm going to high kick and I'm going to land on my right hip. Okay, worst case scenario, I'm going to get one. See the space I made? And if he stays close to me and I can catch the inside of his leg, maybe I'll, maybe I'll run up, finish to a double, get two. But a lot of times I'm just trying to get away. All right? But you don't, you can't, you got to do it right. I mean, you got to go all the way to this hip. So, Nate's over here. Okay, once again, I'm going to, little, little trick with my elbow. Pivot with my outside leg. Here. Okay, now I'm not going to wait around. Okay, high kick up in the air, land on this hip. Okay, tight, right here. Take this hand. He can't, he's not going to hold that hand. He's going to come with it. Okay, I'm out. All right, he stays close. I can swing. I'm just finish the swing. All right, that's just another, another little thing you can do. Okay, I'm not going to have you. I'll have you so you can. When I, work, when I send you guys out, you can try that one as long as you can two things. Now, the other thing, I don't want this to happen, but if he gets the wrist, okay, so he chops and he gets this wrist, okay, I'm definitely not going to turn this way, all right, because that's going to go right into his tilt. So this is going to hurt a little bit, but I'm going to, because this is going to tighten up, but I'm going to come back this way, and I'm going to knife my elbow, okay? It gets really tight right there, but I'm going to knife my elbow because I got a little bit of space right there. Once again, I'm using my elbows, not my hands. Okay. You can't, you can't get broken forward. He's got the wrist, so right away. This knee's going over here. Okay, right here. Now that time I'm in a sit position and I knife with the elbow. You can't wait. He's got the wrist. And he can go backside or front side. Right? So I got I have to hurry up. So once again, here. He chops. And he gets my wrist. This knee right away, the opposite side. He's cutting across the body. Okay? So I'm coming here. Boom. And I'm gonna sit, knife the elbow, and here I am in a sit position. Okay? But I don't want him to get your wrist. Okay? I don't want him to get your wrist. Alright? The last thing, you're gonna go out and work on these three. I come up to my say we're up to our feet. He doesn't have a wrist, but he's got his hands locked, okay? So here, I'm gonna do like a fat man roll, but I'm on my feet, okay? So I'm gonna pull here like this, I'm gonna pull here, and I'm gonna take this foot, and I'm gonna step back and try to trip it. Okay, so I'm gonna come here, see what happens, then I'm gonna cut back the other way. Okay. So I'm here, he's got his hands locked, okay? So I'm gonna have a fat man roll, I'm gonna pull here, okay? I'm gonna turn my hip and I'm gonna kick my foot back in here and try to trip him up. Okay? And then cut the other way. Alright? But it's like you really gotta use your hip. Here? That's why I like to kick my foot, because I'm, I'm, I'm dropping my hip. Alright? And then you just turn and cut the other way. You guys wanna try those three things? One, two.